game. Neither one of them are dark skin, so I feel like that's a stupid. Bianca, what the fuck you mean? Neither one of them are dark skin. Like, what is? Why do y'all take the complexion so serious? How dare you look at somebody like Asian doll and say neither one of them are dark skin? Bianca, you're dark skin. Asian doll is definitely dark skin. Like, what? You are you trying to say she's brown skin? Like y'all are like weirdos. If to for Bianca to say that was weird as fuck to me. Like, what do you mean neither one of them is dark skin? Is Asian doll not dark skin? Like, am I missing something? A lot of people like, oh, Asian ain't really beat the brakes off of her the way she wanted. Are y'all dumb? Asian was giving Mariah pure blood clot thumping our blood. Boom, boom, boom. Them hits was connected. Y'all see Mariah's face for next episode. Like, what? I'm about to pull that shit up again. Hey, Doms. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Diamond TV. And I'm back with another video. If it's your first time over here on this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, okay? And tell a friend, tell a friend about your girl, Diamond TV's YouTube channel, okay? Because I do a lot of fun things over here on this channel okay but if y'all click the link y'all already know what we talking about today in this episode today we are going over baddies caribbean episode eight seven eight i believe this is episode eight okay episode eight y'all these weeks has been going by and by and by and i've been reviewing every episode so if you have not seen my previous reviews thoughts on what's been going on so far throughout the season please go back and watch the other reviews because we was not playing we was on we hit a lot of things on the head and we gonna continue to hit a lot of things on the head okay so i'm so excited to get into this episode because finally the doll asian doll has entered the baddie's house okay the baddie show and y'all know i've been told y'all i've been waiting 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 for you know, Asia to make her grand entrance onto the show to see what she's giving, okay? So, I know we about to get into what we think of, like, you know, Asia on the show. And just what overall of what happened on episode 8, okay? And y'all know I always got my nice little <sighs> drinky drink, alright? It's a little something like, a little vodka, a little cranberry, a little baddie baddie shot up baddie baddie shot up okay period so now we about to get into this episode like i said hit that like button hit thumbs up and hit subscribe okay let's get into it and, and i just got socked so basically y'all remember last episode we left off with meatballs tearing up gretchen okay i was praying and praying that they sent Gretchen home finally because that N-word was just <clears throat> a little bit too much. You know, in the beginning, I was like, all right, a little bit on her. Like, she probably made a mistake. But as Gretchen kept going, I was just like, you know what? Get Gretchen out of here. But as we know, the bitch is still here. So we left off with Meatball, you know, <clears throat> Meatball handing it to Gretchen. Like, flinged her all that. What the fuck is so that's how we end last episode. One thing I can say about like this fight after Gretchen got off the floor and everything, like Meepo is a big girl. Like she to me, like she be fighting in slow motion. She be like <laughs> Like, she don't, she, I, I don't know. Meepo gets baddie because of, like, her personality. But I, I don't think Meepo could fight. Like, I don't know. I don't think she could fight like that. Just like Swim Too Bad said, Gretchen is fragile as fuck. Like, I don't know. Leave in the comments if y'all agree. Wait, 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 wait. 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 And then she still says the N-word. 
scared of. Like, what the heck? Gretchen, like, when she explained, oh, she got kids that's, you know, black, blah, 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 but you're not black. And the girl, you know what? I'm tired of talking about it. Like, Natalie, like, why you didn't get rid of her yet? She comes in on hot and she say, the motherfucking godforsaken N word. So, right, we're going to get to you later, boo. So, I get so crazy and sometimes I start wanting to pick shit up, chairs, rocks. So Tinker was trying to fight. Everybody was just trying to get on Gretchen because Gretchen just started wilding out on everybody like she does because she always, you know, seems to feel attacked. But girl, you just used the N-word again. So to be honest, you you at this point you deserve to be attacked. Like I'm so over this. I'm over this Gretchen stuff. Like I'm really ready for her to go. I'm over it. Pretty much at this point, I'm on go. And everybody's trying to calm me down. Everybody's talking shit. I ain't got time. I'm not listening to nothing. Girl, bye. Y'all see Scotty's ASS? Like, yo, Scotty with the body. Goddamn, goddamn, goddamn. All right, sit down for one second. Girl, shut up. Hear her speak. What's up? So, y'all, Gretchen is finally about to give Jayla the apology that she, I believe she should have been got for that bite mark on her chest. Which, you know, y'all know how I personally felt about this bite mark since she gave it to Jayla because, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. That shit is going to be on Jayla Trust forever. And I just, I don't know. I can't get jiggy with that. I feel like on that alone, they should have sent Gretchen home. Like, I feel like y'all should have sent her home because of that bite mark. Like, seriously. So, Gretchen is basically going to apologize to Jayla. And y'all know Jayla is really not accepting that apology because, baby girl, you bit me on my chest. I'm just tired of talking, bro. Every time I try to talk to everybody, everybody's judging. Come. Sorry if you got offended by that word, literally. I would never bite a person. I'm not a fucking dog. I'm not an animal. I was in survival mode. I didn't know who the fuck was hitting me at that point. I am very sorry. So if you want to date, like, I don't know what you want to do, bro. I don't, I don't know anymore. I really don't. Well, I'm, gonna be, I'm going to be all honest with you. I appreciate the apology. Mm -hmm. You Ooh. know what I'm saying? But there's really nothing that I can do with your apology because this is something that is going to be on me for the rest of my yep. life. Understood. I'm always going to have to look at this. This is going to be a constant reminder. You know, when I have kids, my kids are going to ask me, Mommy, what yep. happened to you? Then? But like I said, Gretchen said she was in survival mode. Jayla, she didn't even, it's not even like y'all, she knew who she was fighting. She was in survival mode. And Jada, I just hope you learn your lesson because you came on the show walling up. Okay? First it was freaking Biggie. Then you, you know, you wanted to be super save a nigga. And jumping on Gretchen with everybody else. And you got bit. You got bit. And I just wish that didn't happen to you. But I just hope you learned your lesson. Like, seriously. I hope you learned your lesson. Which I think you did. Because if y'all can see, ever since Jayla got that ass bit up, she calmed all the way down. How did you get that scar? I'm always going to have to... Um, affects my... Um attitude my attitude my confidence and me being able to work and you know my and mind. to be honest the way j-love be talking i feel like once the show is over she's gonna sue your gretchen like she's like oh it's affecting my work my body is i have a swimsuit model this is how i get paid like girl i really feel like gretchen you're gonna get sued like i feel like she's gearing up to uh for a lawsuit probably against the Zeus network. It could be against Zeus, but she be so much on Natalie and them dick. Probably not. But if they fall out or something, I feel like Jayla would sue the network. And if I'm not mistaken, a few months ago, she did do some wild shit online towards the owner of Zeus. So who knows? Like, she probably, she could sue the network. She could fucking sue Gretchen herself. Like, I feel like the way she be talking, she be thinking about doing that shit things like that i'm a swimwear designer you know this is my chest me you know presenting myself to the public this is a part of that mm -hmm. and so with that
that being said, you know, like I said, I appreciate the apology, but I can't guarantee you that, you know, that I won't fight you again. Jayla and I have been friends for 15 years, best friends. Mm -hmm. And I dealt with a bite mark. Mm -hmm. And I'm still ready to whip that bitch's ass every <laughs> time. There's That's why you should get rid of her now, Lee. Get her off the show. Because Jayla is gonna fucking I don't know. We're not all like, yes, it's okay. We're just, we heard it. Yeah. Number two, you we'll apologize to my best friend about the I bite mark. Yeah, I see, um, Tinker and Diamond hug each other. Like, they really about to be cool, like, for real, for real, for real, which I appreciate because. To me, that's the definition of a bad. In a fought a million times, Diamond, you know, came down and apologized to Tinker. And now they hugging for no reason and shit. So I respect it. No sweet shit, no love. I love to step out, you know, a little fast. Okay. Everybody looking good. Damn. Everybody looking good. So Mariah Lynn getting ready. You know, she got on her black and white. She got on her Nikes, her dunks. So Mariah already know what time it is. And she really came on demon time. Check temperatures. I'm not really trying to be super cute because I know the ops is coming in. Everybody look good. What's up with me, bro? Like, she always on the show looking... Like, she don't give a flying. She don't even try to put herself together. Like, she just be throwing on a hat, some shorts on top. And, like, everybody's on their way to the club. You done fought Gretchen. Why are you going out with all the girls? And look at Biggie. This is why I love my bitch. Biggie got on a freaking po a natural ponytail, two-piece long skirt heels on, looking like a baddie, Okay. Period. And um, Meatball just out here wearing what the fuck? Like, girl, what is you doing? A nice last supper. Like, what? Yeah. Callie, hi, Cal Shout out to freaking the baddies finally about to eat some food, y'all. Like, cause they never get to do their activities. Well, they did do the, the ATVs the other day. Thank God. But they finally want to eat, y'all. Like, cause they be making me hungry. Like, poor, poor baddie. The, 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 the last dinner didn't go so well. This is one thing I want the baddies to understand. When we sit down at the table together, it's about getting. It's like they really be setting these bitches up, like out of everywhere to put Mariah in the seat. Y'all literally put her right across from Asian doll. Like, y'all just be setting this whole shit up. They just be setting it up. It's about getting to the bag. I'm not going to rub shoulders and sit next to nobody if we ain't talking about money. I don't got time to talk about money. And we know the bad is getting money. It's about right. how we can talk about working together here in the Caribbean. I'm good. I want y'all to be good. Very. Every fucking single one of y'all. I'm glad it ain't about me no more right now. So let's bring in some more girls. Asian! First of all, y'all, it was so funny to me when I seen Asian Doll and freaking Mariah Lynn. Basically, they came on wearing the same color scheme, both of them ready for whatever. Okay, period. And I love Asian nude not to bring no wig, wear no wig to baddies. My son got the S's straight backs going all the way back, okay? Because she came with red Asian Doll. She look mad nervous. Ladies and dinner. I really wish that I could have wore a dress. Really got cute, but I really don't even know what this bitch on. So I had to put on some sweats, some slides, and a bra top. Just Period. So she Asia look good in her confessionals. I love the crosses. If y'all know Asian, y'all been following her. Like, yes, the crosses and stuff is like a new thing that came up. But Asian doll always dressed like that. Diamonds on her face, bling out, extra girly, extra tomboyish, like extra like this is all asians real authentic aesthetic like i love that hey! What's up, girl? asian brought some good vibes good energy she actually went around to the table and hugged everybody she's a star star she just walked in you know like what's up i'm ready to be a baddie Period. i did notice that she did not hug mariah so i'm like so like she said, Scotty said, Asian came in there, good vibes, good energy, like ready. I feel like Mariah, like we don't get to it, like 
Mariah was obviously pressed. She knew Asia was coming. She was ready to start. But usually, Mariah would try to wait for a bitch to start with her. I found it weird that she was, like, ready, like, to fight Asian, though. Like, she was just, you know, as people, as the show went on, I'm like, all right, Asian. Mariah knew this was her, could have been her storyline, something to get her going this season. Because we haven't really seen Mariah get into much this season. But to me, she still wasn't, like, fighting, really, did she? She got beat up by Jelly. Wait, who got, who Mariah got beat up by? No, Jelly got beat up by Kelly. Mariah was fighting somebody. And Bianca ain't jumping. I think it was one of the replacements, right? But she ain't really getting to nothing too when she tried to hit Cat Cali that one time or whatever like that. But I don't know. I feel like she knew Asian Doll was coming and you know her having beef with Asian Doll was a big storyline for her. You know what I'm saying? So she ran oh. with it. A lot of Asian doll back and forth for some time, but I've never really seen her around big groups of girls. So this is gonna really, really be interesting. I love Asian response. She was like, Mariah was like, Oh, you really was on nothing because you was just over here. And Asian was like, Girl, ain't nobody worrying about you. This is bigger than you. Like, bitch, I could tell Asia knew she was going to beat Mariah's ass or fight Mariah. But on this, bitch, is my first day. I just got here. I'm not trying to crash out like Bianca did on her first day. Like, I'm trying to chill, get to know the girls. I will deal with you later. I feel like that's what Asia came in on. But Mariah wanted to make it look like the bitch was pussy because she ain't coming swinging. Bitch, everybody do their shit how they want to do it, period. Well, you don't get beat up. It don't even matter. Beat that, up that's where, nothing. Bitch. That's later. What? Beat up where? Nigga said you gonna get beat up. It don't even matter. That's nothing. That's later. Like I love the energy. I love the vibe. What's up? Beat up where? Okay. Hold on. What's up? Hey, you like me? I never had smoked with a bitch or felt the way towards a bitch and was two steps away from them and did fucking nothing. So I'm gonna test your gangster and see how gangster you. Really, are. Mariah? You gonna test somebody? I'm sitting right here, bitch. What's up? You're nobody you trying to make yourself known, bitch. Stop dick sucking me. You're here because of me. About. Spend that money bitch. lightly. That's Shut up, bitch. Shut up, bitch. You're going to get beat up. Mariah Swear, she know every how much everybody got paid. She said Bianca got paid 50K for coming on the show. Now she's trying to say Asian Dog got paid 50K for coming on the show. Oh, they only on the show because of her. All right. Can we say that they're on the show because, well, hey, we talking about Asian right now. Asian is on the show because of Mariah. Their little online beef probably did catch the eyes of the producers or like Natalie or somebody to reach out to Asian Doll, but I don't think that's what would make them Asian come. Asia still has her own clout, her own, you know, she her own fan base. Like she's been around for a while, so has Mariah, but they've been in like two separate lanes building two. I feel like Asian Doll's fan base. For somebody that's not on TV is way bigger than Mariah Lynn's. Okay? Uh, like, way bigger. Like, she has authentic people that have been following Asian Doll for years now. So, I'm not going to say she's only on the show because of you. You know what I'm saying? What? What are you I guess you You're a lame bitch. You're a fucking crackhead, bitch. Shut up, bitch. Fuck what you're talking about. Shut up. Ragdoll. You're a pop. Ragdoll. That was so corny, but for Mariah to be like... What can make you feel bad, doll? Like, it was so corny, but it was so Mariah, so it was funny, if that makes sense. It's like, Mariah, you're corny as fuck. Like, sit your corny ass down somewhere, but you want to laugh. Like, girl, sit your corny ass. <laughs> like, girl. So this part, I thought they was about to just fight, which I was kind of annoyed because, like, why y'all even let them fight? Like, which we learned from Diving the Body that if they're security guards, that means somebody said they don't want to fight, which I'm assuming is given the energy that it was Asian. Probably told them, like, ahead of time, like, I'm not fighting right now, like, I need a breather. I just got there. I'm not trying to fight. So they wasn't really letting them fight. So they were just like, you know, going back and forth. Da, da, da. But I feel like, leave in the comments if you felt like Asian should have just fought her right then and there. 
Me personally, I feel like I respect what Asian did. Like, bitch, I don't need to fight you now. I'll fight you when I'm ready. Like, you know, this I'm on TV. I'm actually excited to be here. I actually like these girls. Like, I watch baddies. Like, I'm so happy to be on this show. I'm not trying to crash out. You get what I'm saying? So I, I feel, I feel Asian. Watch, what you want to do, bitch? Watch this. I want to get out of here, bitch. You think because you got a little ass in there that you You mad? What you want to do? I got money. You got money. Just ready to see what the fuck about to go down because the energy. And one thing about Mariah, like she would go so hard to have somebody whoop her ass. And it's just like, girl, calm down. Do y'all not remember when she almost got that kick from Cali like two episodes ago? And it's just like, girl. Shifted. <laughs> So everybody was mad at Mariah Lynn because she told her basically you look like you've been in a microwave too long. They thought like they took it as like a racial slur. But when I heard it, I never took it as a racial slur because I know Mariah's kind of slow. I, I really felt like she was talking about Asian dog's body. You feel me? Because y'all know a lot of people like to make fun of Asian Doll's body. They be like, oh, you're botched. You look like an ant, uh, 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 whatever they say. And I feel like that was Mariah's, like, comeback. Like, I don't think it was a racist slur. I feel like Mariah is way smarter than that. She's not fucking Gretchen where she's like, you know, the Lulu. She know. And she see how them bitches be getting their ass whooped all week. So she would, I wouldn't see her trying to come at a dark skin girl right then and there in front of everybody and try to play her on her complexion. Like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like it was a more of a body shaming thing. Hey, you was the dark skin girls that's in the room? She said brown skin girls. There's a difference between brown skin girls what? and it's dark skin girls. Me. And then even what she's doing right there, like Mariah Lynn, if you don't sit your Caucasian ass down, like seriously, Okay, Asian is a whole black woman and you want to sit here and call all the black women to the table to be like, oh, she said this about black girls, like, so they all could jump on her. That was the lamest shit ever. Just because y'all seen them get her get everybody get mad at Gretchen. Like, girl, Mariah, like that was corny as hell to me. Like, Asian is black. Could black people be racist and say some hateful black shit? I mean, yes, listen to you came. You feel me? They done cancel her ass the other day. But Mariah, what are you doing? Like, first of all, we're not going to just believe you right then and there that Asian, oh, you're going to make up some shit that Asian said about black girls so we can all jump on her right now. Bitch, handle your beef. Handle your battle. Like, why are you trying to get us all in on it? Like, that was some corny ass shit, Mariah. I ain't like that. But that was that a whole thing, girl. You're a white that bitch. Brown, that's I that's would never think. A fucking Caucasian white right? girl would ever get out of line and disrespect me and try to make every black girl at the table feel like I said dark skinned girls is better than brown skinned girls. So I'm really confused. I'm Puerto Rican. I bitch. Watch bitch. Watch bitch. Watch bitch. Watch Shut bitch. up, Mariah. Is, so are you trying to tell us that you're beefing with Asian right now because she says she don't like black girls? Is that what y'all be like? What are they even beefing about? Oh, I think Mariah said she said fuck. She was. On the, the, the day George Floyd passed away, um, Asian was on her making regular videos, not giving a fuck. Some shit like that. Like, Mariah, please. At the end of the day, neither one of them are dark skin, so I feel like that's a stupid... Bianca, what the fuck you mean neither one of them are dark skin? Like, what is... Why do y'all take the complexion so serious? How dare you look at somebody like Asian doll and say neither one of them are dark skin? Bianca, you're dark skin. Asian doll is definitely dark skin. Like, what? You are you trying to say she's brown skin? Like y'all are like weirdos. If to, for Bianca to say that was weird as fuck to me. Like, what do you mean neither one of them is dark skin? Is Asian doll not dark skin? Like, am I missing something? They neither one of them are dark skin. So I feel like that's a stupid issue to even argue about. Natalie just said we said we're not gonna fight tonight so you can tell that's why security is there because they want to finally have a meal like come on they let the security guards know like tonight we not doing that bitches need to eat 
So, yeah, Natalie just really confirmed that, which I agree. Like, sit y'all asses down, all right? Have a freaking seat. Asian doll. She stood 10 toes. She was by herself. And that is baddie behavior. And I'm always going to respect that. I respect Mariah, too, for standing up for herself and saying. Mariah was standing up for herself, but she was doing a lot. I respect all that from Mariah. Like, is it because she think her friend going to help her? Or she think her friends is going to help her? Like, what do you think about to happen? Or you think, like, Oh, once you, everybody see that you're beefing with Asian, though, you got beef. They wouldn't open, they wouldn't, like, embrace her as much. I feel like that has a lot to do with it. Like, she knows how popular Asian doll is. She already got clout. Asian don't fuck with her. She don't fuck with Asian. And the baddie OGs is her bitches. So she want to basically keep, that's why she's so close to Tatsiki and shit. Like, she want to make sure, off the rip, y'all know this is serious between me and Asian doll. So it's her main people don't show Asian too much love. Like, don't get too close to this bitch because, yeah, it's on the popping type shit. And I feel like that's why Mariah is going so hard right now. She feels, but to me, it just sounds like petty drama. And why are we even talking about this? I'm going to beat you up, bitch. I'm going to beat you up. I'm going to beat you up. I'm going to beat you up. She gonna get beat up because Asian doll is like, girl, I'm gonna beat you up. I'm gonna beat you up. And she gonna say, oh, don't invite me for, to a good time. It's like, you know you gonna get beat up. You don't... <laughs> Mariah is different. Like, one thing I can say is I like her on baddies. Like, more than I like her on Love and Hip Hop. Like, for real. You're not one of us. Shut up, bitch. Fuck you talk about. Merch me. Put it on somebody that's dead. This part, I didn't know. Did Asian press Tinker or Diamond? Because she literally ran up. Let me play that part again. Like, she ran up to the table. I don't know if they was talking shit or whatever. But Asian definitely ran up like, bitch, what? And I was like, oh. Let me hear it. Let me watch this part again. Oh, she said, the bitch tried to get y'all on my team. Bitch, shut up. You're not one of us. I think she was talking to Tinker. Hold on. Let me do it one more time. It was at 20 minutes and like 45 seconds. Let's see it again. Oh, she did. She pressed Tinker. She said, bitch, she, she said, bitch, you try to get all of them on me. And then she said, um, Bitch, I don't give a fuck in Tinker's face. And then Tinker was like, but what does merch mean? Trying to be funny. And um, Asian Doll looked at Tinker and said, bitch, merch means put it on somebody that's dead, bitch. So Asian came at Tinker at that table. She sure did. Like, bitch, because she felt like, oh, y'all trying to take up for this bitch? Like, I give a fuck about any of y'all. Like, she said, bitch, shut up. You're not one of us to Tinker. Bitch, shut up. You're not one of us. And then Tinker said, I was just asking what merch mean. And she said, all right, Asian. Asian ain't come. Asian, I told y'all, like, Asian is not playing with these bitches. Come on. Come on. Holding her own right now, okay. She is holding it down. These other bitches ain't saying shit. Everybody's quiet. She literally just pressed Tinker. Tinker tried to play it off quick, 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 but I caught it. Clock it. Is it this? Clock it. Clock, clock it. Okay. And Mariah, you need to sit your ass the fuck down. Period, boo. Period, boo. Right. Why are y'all fighting on the empty stomach? Right? Where's the food? Leaders. Hello. Shut up. Guess what, y'all? They actually brought us some real food. We had some wee cargos and uh, day cargos, this cargo. Bitch, take a picture. Like, <laughs> Bitch, where you want me to look at? Where you want me to look at? Ready? 
Mariah loved to tell somebody to put a muzzle on somebody. Like, what? We're not fighting. Shut the fuck up, bitch. I'm not going to go back and forth. I'm happy to see all of you. No cap. I came in happy. So, Asian dog, welcome to Puerto Rico. Thank you. So for me to be on the same motherfucking cast with Jayla, it's like a dream come true. Oh, that's cute. She's she really got a kind heart. Like, you really come from love. So I feel like when you get to that point, it's like, bitch, I'm here. Like, what's up? Meatball. Meatball. Meatball is her favorite new baddie. I want to know why. Like, why is Meatball your new favorite baddie? Hey, between Mariah Lynn and Asian, but really who cares because she said I was her favorite. Too. We're going to welcome Asian Doll to Puerto Rico. And Figgy. What are you doing? Huh? We're going to welcome Asian Doll to Puerto Rico. <laughs> and we are going to enjoy ourselves here. And we Mimo are is tearing that pool up, and bitch. Guys, we are going to get to the fucking bag. Bitch, we acting crazy at the... So y'all, Dia is bad because y'all know Dia had to take the long route to get to Puerto Rico because you know she's from the Bahamas and the passports is different and stuff. And I told y'all like, as much as Dia was doing too much, her voice, all of that, her not being on the last episode, like her presence was missed. Like leave in the comments if y'all, you know this is Baddies Caribbean, like come on. Like leave in the comments if you agree that Dia's presence was actually missed. And what I loved was this scene where she comes to talk to Natalie and all the girls come, you can tell they all missed her. Like, so that's baddie shit for real. Like, the girls really fuck with um, Dia's energy. Had to, like, reroute. Yeah, it was a long trip. Because of the visa situation, I had to go to Canada and then Nassau and then Puerto Fort Rico. Lauderdale and oh. then Puerto Rico. Jeez. Yeah, four flights. It was crazy. That's four flights just to get to Puerto Rico is crazy crazy like what i finally made it to puerto rico i'm in the house and i'm excited to see all of the girls i ready to party let's see what puerto rico brings <laughs> Join us. And when I see Anna come, I didn't really know how to feel about her because I didn't really know her. Um, I did see, I think, in the first episode that we seen that she was gonna come a little later because she had like some kind of injury or something. But one thing I can say when Anna came on the scene, like I loved her energy. I loved she gave good vibes. Like I really feel like I would like Anna a lot. Scotty, are you okay? I am. I Scotty mean, want fake beef, bitch. Ain't nobody worried about you, bro. Fucking sex workers, and y'all already fucking know we in my country, not none of these other bitches of my shit. Big Puerto Rico, woo! Scotty felt mad dumb when Ani Ana hugged her. It's like y'all be wanting beef, y'all. Scotty, get you a storyline quick, cause she like badly like, oh, sit over here just in case Ana, you know, Ana just came and hugged the bitch. Like, bitch, y'all bitches ain't nobody, like. And I love the energy. I love it because Scotty ain't want no smoke. Period. Okay. And there's no way I'm 
beefing with a bitch, like, I don't really have time for that. I'm ready to turn the fuck up. Power to the bitches. I'm excited. I'm really excited. I'm happy you're here. I missed you guys. Oh, yeah, my family's there. Yes. This is where I'm from. We in the motherfucking city. Yeah. Yeah. What I've been missing out on. Oh, oh the crazy shit. Oh, bitch, I got to pee. Oh, wait. Who Gretchen. The girl, I gave her the ticket. So this part when all the girls is in the car going, uh, where they was going? To the, wherever the hell they going. I know this is Slim Too Bad, it's Cali, it's Diamond, it's Jayla, it's Scotty, and it's Bianca, okay? Bianca is in the back, like on her phone by herself. And when I first was watching it, I was like... Then I, I see all the girls communicating. Bianca's like in the back on the phone. So I'm like, damn. It looked like Bianca ain't really get to bond with none of the girls. You know, like she, it's like if Mariah Lynn is not around, you ain't talking or getting to know no other girls. So I ain't really like that. I'm like, Bianca, like, come on, get to be, let some other girls love your personality and like you. Like, it's giving, like, they don't really like her like that. I'm just happy to get the fuck out the house. That part. That's good. We ride the four wheelers, the ATVs. So oh, yeah, the ATVs. Like That's what they ride. The and get and I'm excited to go ride ATVs, but the bag. This is lit. I'm on baddies. <laughs> yeah. I love how authentically happy Asian is to be on baddies. Like, you know, that's dope. Like, she's not downplaying the franchise or nothing. She's just, like, uplifting it. Like, y'all, I'm happy to be here. Like, for real. Like, that's what's up. I like that for her. I said this is a weird dinner. Why would they pay And the food was... No, we were this way. Asia and Mariah were this way. What the hell? They were like, 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 they Bianca, I know that you and Mariah are supposed to be friends. Yeah. Like y'all knew each other from like loving hip hop, New York, right. and stuff like that. So like, where do you and Mariah really stand? I mean, at the end of the day, I'm always gonna be there to defend her because that's my friend. I'm not gonna let nobody jump on. All is that my friend? This my friend. So Jayla basically wants to see where Bianca stands because she notices that Mariah got new beef in town. You came in on the show swinging on her ops, her fake ass ops, because they cool now. So, like, are you, like, defending everything that Mariah Lynn do? And we all see Bianca Bay made me know clear, like, no, no, no. Um, Mariah's going to handle this on her own. She told me not to jump into her fights. She don't, you know, basically, Mariah got this. Like, no, this shit ain't got nothing to do with me. So when I seen that part, I was just like, okay, yeah, I feel you, Bianca. Like, because I felt like you went out sad coming in the way you did. You know what I'm saying? Especially because you ain't never own up to it like Diamond did. You never apologize to Sapphire. You know, you act like what you had, what you did was justified. Like, I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? And so the girls is basically trying to, I feel like trying to feel Bianca out. I've been kind of felt like they didn't really like her. I'm not going to let nobody bully her. I'm not going to let nobody pick on her. Now, that don't mean I'm going to fight every single battle for her. If she want to fight Asian dog, she can fight Asian dog one-on-one. -on -one. That don't have nothing to do with me. But nobody, I'm going to make sure nobody's there to jump her. I'm going to make sure shit don't get out of here. All right, all right, whatever. I said, okay, so be it. Yeah. Let's just say if her and H dollar fighting. Right. And let's just say if your friend is losing. Right. Are you that's, going? That's a, if they fight her one-on-one -on -one and she's losing, it's not so a you're jumping not thing. Yourself yeah, she told me not to jump for okay. her shit anyway. Like, okay. it's all Mariah shit right now. It's right. not really, it, it's not really my issue. She definitely told me herself, though, that, that Mariah was talking this. Wait, what is the Uzi? No, Bianca, just say something. Tell her Mariah was a fake ass. She was just telling her Mariah was a fake ass. So this is where everything goes left. Dom, make sure you hit that like button if you made it this far into this video. This is where it all started to go motherfucking left. When Asian Doll let the cat out the bag and let everybody know that Bianca and her are cool and she spoke to Bianca and Bianca is telling, telling Asian Doll shit about, you know, what Mariah Lynn be saying. And if you listen, you can hear Natalie in the back like, wait, so you and Bianca are cool? And then you can see Tasiki's face like, wait, what? Because, you know, Tasiki and Mariah is cool. 
And you can tell Tzatziki been kind of side eyeing Bianca for a minute now. You feel me? So, Bianca, like, what's what's T? Like, what's really going on? It's not really my issue. She definitely told me herself though that that Mariah was popping. Wait, what? Who's Bianca? Bianca definitely told me that Mariah was a fake Bianca is just instant. And y'all know Sapphire Sapphire is happy with this shit because she letting it out the bag because Sapphire don't fuck with Bianca. You feel me? So she like, no, Bianca just FaceTime Asian doll and told her Mariah was a fake ass bitch. So at the end of the day, it's giving two face vibes. You know what I'm saying? If you gonna be your homegirl friend and help her out with shit and she got beef, I don't know if you scared of Asian, you think you more cool with Asian because y'all been know each other, what the T is, Bianca. But that Too Faced and shit is not cool. Like, bitches is too grown. You can be cool with your friend and be cool with another person without spreading lies and being Too Faced and calling this person on the phone, telling this person business, oh, such and such said this, such and such said that. Like, all of that? No, I don't fuck with that. Eating the beef with Mariah and Asian doll Bianca. Please, just stay out of it. You already came in with some drama with Sapphire and Mariah. Just... Leave it alone, please. I'm gonna get her what she wants. This is what she wants. That's what I'm saying. This is fucking baddies. Like, we are fucking baddies. Yeah, That's what we're doing. Sure. Like, I don't even want to explain why yeah. these beefing bitches are doing. That's just what you did. What are you talking about? Fuck like, it. for real. Fuck you. So, y'all know it's about to go down. ATV park, all of us girls can so they get to the ATVs, okay? Yeah. So they get to the ATVs, they look like they have mad fun, okay? But we about to just get to the tea. <laughs> <laughs> that shit, bitch. To be honest, Asian, you were swinging over the kid with you. So basically, y'all, they get off the ATVs and Mariah is back on demon time. Like, I feel like Mariah know the ass whooping is coming, so she kind of want to get it over with type shit. You feel me? So they get off the ATVs, and Mariah's on standing away from the baddies on purpose because she acting like she just Tasiki. I don't know. Like, she giving, like, she out here be whooping bitches' ass. Like, Tasiki whoop bitches' ass is the way she she came on this episode, okay? Which I, I'm not mad at you, Mariah. Be, do what you got to do. Put on, put on how you got to put on or whatever. So Mariah gets out. She stands to her side. Um, Biggie notices and she's like, oh, we can't leave. Why is Mariah by herself? Let me go stand next to Mariah. Like, no, Mariah did that on purpose because she wants y'all to know, bitch, I'm ready to fight. And you already know what happened after that. Okay, let's get into it. I swing over security yesterday. So, what we doing? Like, we we not, ain't no talking. Like, where I'm from, bitch, once it's up, it's stuck. Did you guys have fun? Y'all heard her. You? Once it's up, it's okay. stuck. This is bullshit. Yeah. Good vibes. But this is the thing. Is so, Mariah is actually trying to fucking talk, and Mariah is steady talking openality. Lord, this bitch do not even know I'm about to beat the fuck out of her. Please send me a. So the way Asian just standing there, like, woo! I just wanted to just say I had fun today with you guys. Man, I, I know, know that. that. I know. Mariah said, "Man, fuck all that." Asian was ready. Y'all, a lot of people like, oh, Asian ain't really beat the brakes off of her the way she wanted. Are y'all dumb? Asian was giving Mariah pure blood clot thump in our blood. Boom, boom, boom. Them hits was connected. Y'all see Mariah's face for next episode. Like, what? I'm about to pull that shit up again. Mariah was thing but Asian was connecting her every time bro like what how could y'all act like y'all didn't see what was happening so is actually trying to fucking talk and Mariah is steady talking openality lord I had fun today with you guys I know that I her shit like damn Y'all don't usually, we, we gonna watch what happens next because that shit, I feel like next episode, y'all, I'm gonna make sure I review that on time early. Like, yo, next episode, to me, everything when everything changed because the drama like switched onto what? Who? Let's, let's watch it. Let's watch. Pre next on, next time on. Get in there! Get in there! First of all, y'all bitches not gonna gag me, nothing. Mariah said she 